It's supper time here in Kujwakwak National Park and on the menu tonight is spaghetti, or more specifically, spaghetti with Napolitano sauce from Happy Yak. If you're interested in seeing how we're going to prepare it, keep watching. All right, so more specifically, the meal we're having tonight is spaghetti with Napolitano sauce, and here is a look at the package itself. So this is from Happy Yak's Express line of meals. And what that means is that, well, they say on the back on the instructions, there are two ways to prepare this, what they call the optimal way, which is what we will choose tonight, and I'll describe in a minute, and the express way. And the express way is what you would normally consider one of these meals and how they would be prepared. In other words, you would take your two cups of boiling hot water, pour it directly in the package, stir it, seal it, set it aside 15 to 18 minutes, and it's full rehydrated. The optimal way is to add two cups of cold water to a, bo or to a pot with the contents of this package, bring it to a boil, simmer for two minutes, then take it off the heat and set it aside for 12 to 15 minutes. Almost the same amount of time, but in this method you get, you're get you more assured of a full rehydration of all the materials inside. So the Happy Yak spaghetti with napolitano sauce is a uh, it's quite a big meal in fact 320 calories for just half of the of a uh, of the package and uh, so there's plenty for Gene and I to share along with and we're, we're going to have a salad with it because you can do that when you're car camping you can have some of the things you might not have when you when you're out in the woods by yourself uh, 40 grams of protein per package so it's a good amount of a protein in the meal as well so what I'll do now is I will uh, cut away, reposition the camera, show the meal being prepared in the pot prior to bringing it to a boil in the simmer process. Once the simmering's finished, I'm going to show you how we're going to maintain the heat in this package for that rest of that 12 to 15 minutes. All right, once again, there's the package. So I have not had this before. I'm really quite keen to see what this looks like and tastes like. All right, oh, yeah, cheese package. They did say on the side, take the cheese package out. So there is a cheese that looks very much like a Parmesan cheese with some flecks of something inside of it. I'll pour the rest in the bowl. So the spaghetti pieces are th very thin noodles. They look to be about, I don't know, what would you say, Gina? Three inches? About three inches, yeah. And a bay leaf, look at that, a whole bay leaf as well. That's cool. So there is the package prior to putting the water in. So you can see the, the sauce as well as the noodles and the bay leaf to give it a little extra flavor. And then this is added on afterwards. And I'll show you that being added when we go to do it. So we have two cups of water, pre-measured cold water. Now, the, I don't know how quite how I'm going to mix this in with the noodles being still dry, but I'll do my best. All right, okay, the sauce is, is mixing very quickly with the water, and what's being left behind now are the remainder of the ingredients, the protein bits, and other items. Okay, very easy. So, I'll put, we'll put this on the burner, we'll give it a simmer for two minutes, and then I'll bring it back. Okay, so we did a video recently with another one of the, these meals, and uh, it had this optimal type preparation where you let it set for 12 to 15 minutes, and we found although it was still warm, it was not hot, and that probably led to incomplete rehydration of some of the items in it. So this time, we're going to cover it up, and I'm using a makeshift cozy, because I didn't plan for this, so I didn't have a, a cozy that I would normally use for this. So what I'm using is the sunshade from our car, which which is pretty much what you make cozies out of anyway. So I'm covering it in the cozy and doing the best I can to cover it up. And I'll put a couple of items on either side here. And that way it'll have good heat retention. So we'll bring it back in 12 to 15 minutes when this is ready to serve. All right, 15 minutes are up. Let's, uh, okay. oh, it's, yeah, that's a little much hotter than it was last time. Very hot. Move it up to the trivet there. It looks good. It smells good. Yeah. Put that aside there. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, we'll say grace and serve the meal, then I'll give you a little bit of a close up and we'll do our taste test from there. So? We come to the end of another day, Lord. We thank you for this blessing. Beautiful, beautiful space that we've enjoyed. Beautiful sunshine. And now we're good for you. Amen.
Bless the hands that help people through Christ our Lord. All right, as Gina does a little serve up for us, I'll point out that we don't have candles tonight, but we do have a mosquito coil <laughs> because the mosquitoes, well, they're not brutal, but uh, you know, there are mosquitoes. It's pretty thick, isn't it? It's very thick. Interesting. Yep, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that up to the plate while you're serving your up to the camera. All right. Oh, wow. Smells good, though. Okay, hopefully you can see that's what it looks like. Yeah, and now I'll, uh, we'll have our taste test. Would oh, you want some cheese? Oh, great, the Parmesan. Parmesan and, what did it say, uh, peppers. Chili peppers. Chili maybe? peppers. Get it to shake out. Uh, mm. A little bit of parmesan. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, there's still some in there. A little bit extra, yeah. Okay, wow. What a nice flavor, you know? Yeah. Very the, oh, the bay leaf. I've got the bay leaf. Forgot about oh, that. You got the prize. I get the prize. It's the bay leaf. Um, when I first started cooking, the noodles were very difficult to mm. stir, but they've really softened up. Yeah, softened up nicely. And they're delicious. Okay. We have a salad to have with our meal as well. So we're going to break away now. We'll have the rest of our meal. And uh, then I'll come back with a few closing thoughts because there, we've had a few observations about preparing this that we want to share with you. All right, stay tuned. All right, well, that was a really good meal. Spaghetti with Napolitana sauce. Gina pointed out that I was likely mispronouncing it, and uh, I still may be, Napolitana sauce. So I apologize if, uh, to anybody who does know the difference if I am mispronouncing it. Okay, a few things about the meal itself. One thing that I think I may have failed to mention at the beginning is this is part of Happy Yak's vegetarian line of meals. So there is no freeze-dried or dehydrated meat inside this. The protein comes from texturized soya protein. So it is a vegetarian meal, but you're still getting 40 gra 40 grams of protein in the total pouch. So if you eat it for yourself, that's great. If it's shared, as Gina and I did, then you're getting about 20 grams. Still a good meal, a good balance of proteins in there. And of course, I am going to provide the links to this meal in the show notes below so that you can see the full nutritional breakdown as well as the ingredients if that's uh, of interest to you. So a couple of thoughts on the preparation of this. One, when we opened the package up and we saw the pasta, we mixed it with the cold water and we began to stir. And, and this is, was true when we put it on the stove. We found it a little difficult with the noodles because they were in their uh, hard, uh, dry state at that point. So it took a little while for them to soften up. So really all you're able to do is just keep stirring it over the heat and, it, and wait until the noodles softened up. So then it would got a little easier. One thing Gina pointed out it was that was kind of nice is that the fact that they were three inch noodles and not a full eight, 10 inch noodle like you'd normally buy when you buy spaghetti at the, at the grocery store. What was nice about that is, is well, one, it, it worked out well for being in the package as well as being in the pot. But when you go to eat it, you don't need a fork and a spoon that you would normally spin the two on to eat. It's, it was able to be on one forkful which is nicer, I suppose, if you're eating with a spork. Uh, so that's one of the things that we noted about it. It may have been easier in preparation to do the express method, which would be to put the two cups of boiling water directly into the bag, either stir it up in the bag, or which I've often done, you have to be careful when you do this, make sure you use the zip lock and shut the bag and then give it a gentle shake to mix the ingredients up and then let it set for the full 18 minutes. And every so often you can just pick it up and give it another shake. That probably would have been easier. What I don't know, unless I do this again, is how well that would have rehydrated. I expect it would have been good. Uh, I have used these, these express meals before and they usually rehydrate fully. 
in warm weather, weather, there is no issue at all. In cold weather, I always use a cozy just to ensure there's enough heat. Speaking of cozies, with the what they call the optimal method of, of cooking this, which is what we did here tonight, this time I used that expedient cozy made from our windshield reflector and wrapped it up in a dish towel and then in the reflector and that kept it nice and hot. Now it's 28 degrees Celsius so it's not like it's cool here or anything. Um, it, so it, it was plenty hot but that kept it hot and it was fully rehydrated. Actually it was beautifully done. What we did notice though when we served it, oh, and by the way that's something I do have to apologize, when I showed you that plate full of the spaghetti that was not a full serving. There was still some left in the pot, so another, another amount that size. So you saw about one third of it on my plate. So just to give an idea, there was a lot more to the meal than that. In fact, when Gina and I did serve it all out, we looked at it and said, that's a big meal. You know, for one person, you would have to be hungry, which you likely would be at the end of a long day. But that is, it's quite a huge meal. So, um, I had said that. One, what else do I, I want to say about it? Um, it's thick. It's very thick. And maybe that's character of the, of the way the meal is designed to be. The two cups of water, I'm going to consider that a minimum. You actually may want to add a couple of extra ounces to that and just so it's a little bit more sauce like uh, on top of it rather than just a real thickness. Um, I don't know it would make a difference in the rehydration. It certainly wouldn't make it less hydrated. It might make the sauce just a little uh, more sauce-like as opposed to a really thick. I guess it depends on how you like it. Flavor. Flavor was amazing. Now it was a herb type flavor, a nice flavor. There was a bit of bite to it and that came from chili peppers that were in with the uh, the Parmesan cheese package. So once you spread those out you did get a little bite here and there as you, as you bite meaning a little bit of spiciness as you, as you ate the meal. You could add salt to it, you could add pepper to it and I know that sounds funny to adding salt to one of these freeze-dried prepared meals but it wasn't salty. I know I say that all the time. It seems to be a hallmark of the Happy Yak meals. They are not salty. So if you're tired of having meals that are too salty, the other, the other famous brand meals, uh, you may want to give Happy Yak a try because you may find you end up adding salt to give it just a little bit more of that saltiness if that's what you like. So those are the, the things that we found about it. A little extra water would make it a little saucier. Make sure you put it in some type of cozy if you're using the optimal method to give it full rehydration. Uh, other than that, it was just a wonderful flavor. It gives you the option to add in a little bit more spice if you like it spiced up a little bit. Uh, there's nothing bad to say about this, honestly. A little bit in the preparation that could be enhanced with a little bit of experience, as that's all I wanted to add there. Okay, that's all I have to say about the Happy Yak meal. As I mentioned, I'll put all the information in the show notes below about where you can get this meal, as well as the link directly to this meal and give you all the nutritional as well as the ingredient breakdown. And I have more Happy Yak meals, of course, I'll be bringing to you over time. But uh, until, the, until that occurs, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.